welcome to CAD tutorials and in this video I'll be covering practice problem 5.8. Now the first thing you'll see that you is that you have two buffers. These are called buffers when you have an op amp with basically nothing connected to it and just wires straight from the inputs or the terminals to the output. What these do is they basically propagate whatever voltage which they receive. So this 8 volts is the same as that, and this 8.01 volts is the same as that. So all this is passed through the op amp to this point, and you can research what these buffers are used for, as their usefulness is not quite evident, but they are quite useful. So at this point, we have 8 volts, right? At this point, we have 8.01 volts as well, which is the same as that, the same as that. Now, on this side, you, you identify this, or you can see that this is a difference amplifier, which you have on this side. And therefore, you can apply the difference amplifier formula and say VO. The output is equals to R2 divided by R1 multiply by V2 subtract V1, and substituting these values, this R2 is the feedback resistor of value 40K, and this R1 is this resistor over here of 20K. Multiply by, uh, multiply by 8.01, subtract 8 volts, right? And so VO is equal to, this is two, so VO is equal to two, multiply by 0.01, which will give you VO, which equals to 0 0.02, which is equivalent to 20 times 10 to the minus three, right? That is that, that is your value for VO. But the question actually asks us to find IO, and IO is indicated across this resistor value of one kilo ohms. So VO divided by IO uh, using Ohm's law should give you R, and IO, taking that to there, divide is equals to VO divided by R. And now that our VO, we found our VO to be 20 times 10 to the minus 3, divided by voltage value, uh, sorry, a resistor value of 1 times 10 to the 3, you're going to have 20 times 10 to the minus 3, subtract 3, which means our IO will be 20 micro amperes. 